Uh, it is 6.40 on the dot, starting her day on 9.59, alongside myself and Sol Penduga, as well as you, who's starting your day on 9.59, is Lindu Ngumalo from Supersport. Hello, Supersport. Hello, Lindu. Hey. Hey. Hello, man. I'll send you here. I'll send you here. I'll send you uh, so I look at one after such a long time, and he's like, Oh, I'm sure to pay Yeah, no, man, you're so beautiful. I was just doing, I didn't say that. I said, Yo, the big cat is a home shot tomorrow. Let's do it. Thank you so much, guys. You're welcome. You're welcome. Thank you for waking up early in the morning to start your day on 959. So, super sport. Yes, how's it being a female on super sport? It's a boys' club. Is it a boys' it club? It is, it is a boys' club, yeah. but I feel like the organization. Um, believes in women and they reward you when you put in the work yeah. so personally I'm not where I was a few years ago I think I've grown with the brand I've grown as an individual yeah, mm. um, yeah man I mean you look at Carol Shabala look at Mutsiri Simuhono yes, you know she's Simuhono. exactly well, you know? shout out to yeah. YFM yes 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 <laughs> so yeah I think um, Tato Mueng as well yes. yeah and, and, all and you know what the most beautiful thing is you guys have grown literally yes. from a youth radio station and we've watched you grow on television yeah. mm. we've watched you mature we've watched yeah. you do you go to church speaking of maturity I do but I haven't been to church in the longest time well I'm still looking for a new church because I obviously moved from Davidson so I'm still looking exactly. for a church <laughs> this is what we said with Homoto that some people their only reason for not going to church is literally moving from city mm. to city yeah because they never find one they connect yeah. with right yeah. like before yeah because yeah, right now I feel like I'm not a big church person. Like, I'm not a Rayma or Grace Bible church. I like intimate churches. Yeah. Yeah. And also, I don't like Amazon Toe Slum because I feel like if I'm like, yeah, so. Mm. <laughs> like, yeah, I'm I get that. 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 Lindy Wengumalo, she is from Super Sport. A bunch of you know her very well if you're sport fanatics. She's starting her day on 959. It is 642. We're gathering your voice notes on the subject of church. Do you go to church? Yes or no? And why? Listen, we're not debating religious beliefs. We just have to put that out there, right? We're talking a about a place topic. of worship. Place of worship. Yes. Do you have a relationship with one? Yay or nay? been rebranding madam you yes. went from yfm to super sport yeah um how did that process go in terms of you know sure. being seen as a little one on a youth radio station mm. to a big one on like a big grown folk sporting yeah. nation channel i think it's still ongoing hey like the the work never stops you 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 put in the work all the time and the transition was pretty challenging because radio is completely different from television you yeah. know on radio you don't have a director or a pa speaking in your ear all the time up are you listening to the answering you and whatnot so the transition was was challenging but it was really really fun because yo i mean you work on with like different cameras the director will say okay lindy we stand by on four q4 mm -hmm. Lindy West mm -hmm. and buy on a beauty shots, you know. Mm -hmm. So that was pretty intense. And just listening to a director and a PA count you down to ad break. I remember when I started Wing Beta and I would miss my accounts, <laughs> oh, you know. Shit. But then I was going to ad break in 10, 9, oh, and then shit. I would link to break. And I'm like, dude, we still have seven seconds, you know. But I've, I'm enjoying it. And I think um, anyone who's a product of YFM, guys, you know, I, I mentioned Muti DC Elia. Tato, I mean, Lindy Sera, Mekinelwe, Huma, yes. Bali, I mean, yes. guys, we are from the school of Zugile Majova. And I think he, mm. he prepared us for everything. Everything I know about broadcasting was because of that man, you know, oh. like knowing how to script. Because when we got to TV, obviously you do voice work and you script your own stuff, right? And there's no auto cue there. So all mm. thanks to Majova. Um, yeah, I'm the broadcaster I am today. Yo. Yeah, it's, it's, it's been a, a ride. It's been you a mentioned ride. we're talking about churches that you've moved from yes. Davidson. Is that where you were born and raised? Yeah, I'm a Kasi girl through and through. I lived in Davidson all my life. Um, I've got three siblings, Ngakuli Samawami. So, yeah, all my life being sick, I see at Davidson and I just moved to Mangshata Well, I know that you used to be into pageants, <laughs> <Yes>. right? <laughs> and at, at some point, you wanted to be a Miss South Africa. Do, oh, you know me too well. <laughs> <laughs> Have you won? Did you win any pageants as Listen, a kid? And how um, did that transition come? from pageants to sports pageants to sports so yeah growing up I wanted to be my South Africa for me I feel I felt like pageantry was like a launch pad you know ah. look at Uzi, Uzi Peta. we didn't know who Uzi Peta was before she yeah. won this essay Joe and Strauss Basitana Kumalo Pe um, Peggy Sue Kumalo as oh, well yes. so I looked up to those people growing up because yo Peggy Sue you know is a powerhouse and corporate nan -nan, but she started it as Miss um, Miss South Africa even Jessica Mdawung of Kaiser Chiefs yeah. you know yes. she has a history of pageantry yeah. so for me I looked at it as 
I looked at it as um, a launch pad. It was okay if I want to launch my career or I feel like pageantry will just open doors for you. I mean, you look at Uzozi and what pageantry does is it, it gives you an opportunity to network and, you know, meets all these Absolutely. different people and yeah, clients yeah, yeah. and whatever. Yeah. So yeah, growing up, then I did pageants. I was Miss Davidson in high school. Hey, I wanted to be Miss Davidson. Miss Davidson secondaries, you know, <laughs> Miss Pinoni finalist. Whoa. And yeah, yo, yo, that's and, dope. Yeah, that's I think, really, really dope. I think um, why I tried Miss SA then, but because I had dreads, there was that thing. You would say, oh no, I have dreads, but now it's different, obviously, because oh, yeah. you oh. get a shudu fazo and a zozi, yes, you know. Zosie. So yeah, pageantry was my thing. Yo, would pageantry. you do Mister South? Africa. I don't know. Because hey? you recently just got married. I don't You're know. I thought about it. Anymore. My my husband brought it up the other day. Yeah, you, you know, you can still do Mrs. South Africa. Just for the like, heck of it. Yeah. I did. Just to do we'll it see, like we'll now. See, yeah. I hope so. I hope so. <laughs> so listen, um, I know yeah. sports broadcasting, right? As a sports broadcaster, it becomes very difficult mm. to, you know, put out there what teams are your favorite. Yes. Because then people <laughs> don't trust your judgment yes, on the platform that yeah. you use. They say you're biased and yep. so forth. Have you ever been public about the teams that you support? Not really. No. You prefer to keep it to yeah, yourself I to, keep it to, to avoid what yeah um so avoid that like i feel like sometimes it somewhat takes away from your credibility and then uh, whatever you mention on air they're like yeah value to support the sundowns yeah. you know we can't take you seriously value yeah. you hate pirates you know because yeah. even with commentators people do that all the time during a game but it's oh you know you know it doesn't like kaiser chiefs you know yeah. why are you bring you all stats blah yeah. blah blah what about this new kaiser chiefs team so yeah, yeah I, mean, I suppose it's, it's it's also like being a current affairs broadcaster, yes, right? Yeah, the absolutely. minute you mention what your uh, party. political party yeah, is, you have to yeah. be everything partial. of your credibility yeah. just goes down the drain. Ladies and gents, it is six fifty-eight. Uh, we're fast headed to top of the hour. The news desk is about to open up for you to keep you currently informed in what's happening in that regard. And uh, her name is Lindywe Ngumalo. She's starting her day on nine five nine. As are you, and we appreciate that. Sixteen after seven on the street on the air. Nine five nine. Nine five nine breakfast. Yo, so uh, she's starting her day. On 959. Uh, Lindywe Dube, now married on Cloud Nine, married to <laughs> a <laughs> pilot, is now Lindywe <laughs> Numalo. <laughs> I was telling everyone, oh, see, this is my first physical interview since rebranding. Oh. Like I've done prints and um, online. Oh, so, yeah. beautiful. Thank so you guys. <laughs> we are diversionizing the radio yes. space for you. Yes. <laughs> Nicholas, how long before you got married? Uh, seven months. Whoa. Seven months. Yeah. yeah, beautiful. Hey, yeah, yeah. I'm a pilot. <laughs> ah, yeah, yeah. He's, yeah. he's, he's, he's Take well, off. Well, you know. <laughs> Now. Take off now. <laughs> Take off now. Have you flown with him before? No, not pilot? yet. No, not yet. Not Are you yet. excited about it? I'm him? excited. Is he a new yeah. pilot or is he like... No, he's um, been flying. He started flying at 16. Really? Yeah. He's that is wild. Flying. Where did you meet no. this uh, breakfast I champ? met him through someone. A mutual yeah, A new friend. A mutual friend. Yeah. But you know what the thing is? We'd be at the same places, but we'd all miss, we would always miss each other. Miss each other. Yeah. 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 You'd miss flights. Yes. You know, even at the airport, like, nah, bing, I'm like, bing, I'm like, okay. Yeah. Up until yeah, last year when we met. Nice touch, nice touch. So you won an award from listen, this is for me one of the greatest bragging rights because I remember your come up mm -hmm. um as Lindy Wedube. Yeah. And I remember how you fought for your mm -hmm. place from a radio broadcasting space. Yeah. Now here you are in the biggest boys club that the world has to offer mm -hmm. sports yeah. right and you got a nod from that the urban cause yes, yeah. he gave you an award talk to us about this award what was sure. it for how did it feel yeah. what a bragging right I know, right? Thank you so much. Um, definitely one of my career highlights. Um, it came in 2019. It was totally unexpected. Hey, yeah. um, I remember Multi Choice flew me down. They're like, no, we want to take you to the awards. Because in 2017, I did red carpet. So 2018, I didn't go to the awards. I wasn't working. Yeah. And then 2018, they're like, okay, we'd like you to be at the awards. Obviously, represent Multi Choice, blah, blah, blah. But I wasn't working. I was like, okay, cool. Um, and they took me off netball. I was still working on netball at the yeah. time. So yeah. I had netball on the weekend. I'm like, yeah, but I have netball. And like, no, we'll take you off. It's fine. Oh, okay, cool. So yeah, get to Durban, blah, 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 blah. So then he starts his speech. He's like, yeah, she started as an intern and she's grown over the years, you know. Were you paying she's... attention at the time? Did no, it sound I mean, like... I'm you know, I'm thinking he's going to take forever. You know, the chairman is going to go on forever. <laughs> I'm busy <laughs> tweeting, hashtag PSL Awards 19, blah, blah, blah. Ladies and gentlemen, the recipient of the PSL Chairman's Award, Miss Lindy Wetube. Yo! Oh, yeah. I'm like, what? what? You know, because for me, you know, I feel like 
it's special in a sense that it wasn't voted for by the public. You know, it's it's recognition from the chairman of the PSR. And that's They're watching. Wow. Exactly. You know, someone's mm. always watching, you know, I think. And that's why it's always important to just always bring your A game because you never know who's watching. You never know who's mm. listening. So you can never, ever... Yeah, I like slack, you know, because you're as good as your last game. And for me, it meant a lot because, yeah, you know where I come from. You know, you know yeah, what I went through. And yeah. yeah, just that stamp of approval to say, okay, we've been watching you. We see your potential. We see your growth, you know, mm-hmm. and, and there's more coming. So definitely one of my career highlights. You know, you know what I really love about your come up, yeah. Sol? She, she was talking to us off air now and she's mentioning something that is so important. When you were still coming up, right, yeah. you were, you had something about you that was pointed out mm-hmm. as a shortcoming. Yes. So it was your voice. <laughs> yes. You were told that, no, your voice is too squeaky. Too squeaky, yes. I don't want you in the newsroom, yes. ABC, Denny. Anyone else can take that information and plant it within themselves as a reason to no longer believe in themselves. Mm. Mm. But you still took that. Yes. And you used that as a yeah. reason to prove to yourself even more yeah. why you should. Yeah. Kudos. Thank you so much. Well done. Yeah, I told my job. I'm like, okay, if you don't like it, can we work on it? You know, what can we do? So you I sound better attitude. on air, you know? And it's like, oh my gosh, you don't give up, do you? Like, we're young poor. And I, I remember even during my Y Academy days, um, I hardly spent time in other departments. Like, I was yeah. always in the newsroom because I wanted to learn, you know? I had no journalism background, but I wanted to learn. And Muteo Kwaribe took me in and he taught me, you know, the five W's and age is like okay this is how you write this is how you read on air you need to pace yourself you can't sound like you're rushing you know because Mm. you've got three four minutes in that news booth take your time do your research blah 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 and look where you are now right look where you are now well done she's starting her day on 959 (laughs) ladies and gentlemen lindy wengumalo 20 after 7 50 cent, 21 questions. We've been asking 21 questions to this one over here. Lindy and Mumalo. Yes, ma'am. So I know I did ask you if you've flown with your husband, who's a pilot. You said no. I wasn't talking about catching flights together, right? In the cockpit, you did get me, right? Have you sat in the cockpit with him and he piloted? Not with him, with someone else. With somebody else, yeah. is it? Yeah. Do you think... But you know what happens? Man, yeah. Cape Town, near Devin. Magaya King Shasa, near Cape Town. So we always miss each other. Does he ever talk to you about work on some, you know, I would never fly with you on for safety reasons? No, he wants, he wants to fly with He wants to. With him in the cockpit together. and yes, you in the cockpit. Yeah. <laughs> How did he propose? In our meeting, um, on a game drive. Oh, oh. Yeah, on a game drive. <laughs> it oh, was so beautiful. beautiful. Yeah, I wasn't expecting it. I mean, we were dating for seven months. Yeah. So, um, yeah, I wasn't expecting it at the time because our relationship was fairly fresh. So we went on a game drive and he was just acting weird, man. He was sweating. <laughs> he was <laughs> 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 He dropped his phone. I'm like, dude, if you don't have a lion, you don't have a lion. Yeah, I'm a lion's last eating. I'm a tube. So... <laughs> It don't make sense. <laughs> yeah. Hectic days, hectic days. Yo, and so then that yeah. happened and, and now you're five happened. months married. Yeah, we've been married beautiful for stuff. five months. Beautiful, beautiful, stuff. beautiful yeah. What are your plans, <laughs> Lindy, where Mangumalo, for yes. the rest of your career, for your trajectory mm-hmm. as a super sport woman? And by super sport, I don't just mean the yes, channel. Yes, like understand? I said, yeah. You get, yeah, I get yeah, it. yeah. Um, I think personally, um, I want to grow. I want to keep learning. I believe you never arrive you know I want to respect the craft you know um, I want to grow man as an individual and with the super sport brand because mm-hmm. there's plenty of projects I still want to work on that I haven't worked on you know like the World Cup I've covered AFCON but I was doing a magazine show so I yeah. still want to grow I yeah. want to anchor that you know go to the match venues and actually report from there you know cover a World Cup I- I'd love to do that and yeah so just grow with the brands that I'm working on because apart from super sport the stuff that I do I'm an MC. I do copywriting for a certain brand. I don't want to really. Make, yeah, I do copywriting for them. You're a copywriter. Um, yeah, that is beautiful. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. So yeah. yeah, I do that. So yeah, I just want to grow, man. I want to keep learning. I, I, I strongly believe because you never arrive. I love that. I love that. Yeah. So uh, we have a feature on the show called Join the Queue, right? Mm-hmm. And today we're talking about um, uh, masculine features in females and feminine mm-hmm. features in males. Are there any features that your husband has that are a little bit feminine that you think I'll oh, keep that? I think this is a beautiful feminine trait that you have cool let me think he just generally takes care of himself like even in Ilo his skincare routine psyche is way mm-hmm. better than mine like I'm a boy at heart you know um, and I'm like in and out he, he yeah. cleans he tones he does yeah. XYZ yeah. and that's it I moisturize you know yeah. 
Yeah. So he, in terms of self-care maintenance, yeah. he goes all the way in. All the way. And you yeah. wouldn't want to change that about no, him. No, not at all. I like that. I, I really like, I like that, that about him, yeah. Madam, thank you so much for starting your day on 959. Thank you for having me. You're so cute. She's adorable, oh, isn't you're she? You're so cute. Thank you, guys. Absolutely. Thank so you. like your energy, your spark. So cute. Love it, love it, love it for you. Uh, Godspeed with everything. Um, keep fighting for your place I love the way you fought for it in the beginning mm. and I think you know sometimes the fights get easier so there's really no need to fight it's just system maintenance yes. isn't it yeah yeah well done and we'll miss you on the radio I miss radio too she gonna come back <laughs> plans to come back yeah? I'd love to I'd love to yeah yeah, yeah. work on it work on it it's half past you, seven guys. she started her day on 959 she is off now thank you so much have thank a great day me. you're most welcome babies thank you also for starting your day on 959 and to those who might be watching hey listen look at that camera over there oh. they're gonna catch this on kai959.co.za okay. thanks for watching okay